Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Coalition for Marriage YouTube channel. We have a very special guest with us this morning. Uh, Judith Nemeth is Chief Executive of the Values Foundation. Uh, Judith, would you like to say good morning to us? Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's a real privilege to have you with us. Uh, Judith, I wonder if we can just start off and if you tell us a little bit about maybe the, the history, the brief history of the Values Foundation and maybe what its purpose is. The Values Foundation was set up just over two years ago as an advocacy voice for faith and families in education. And although there are many faiths who make representations to Parliament, etc., um, there isn't a unified body that represents the values of those faiths and of that thinking. As um, the Department of Education and Ofsted talk regularly about fundamental British values. Fundamental British values were based on Judeo-Christian thinking. So therefore, we felt it was highly appropriate to reclaim that ground of being a voice of those values. You mentioned a couple of times now the influence of the Values Foundation in Whitehall. I wonder if you can tell us a little bit more, maybe with a couple of examples of how already the Values Foundation has had influence. An initiative from the government actually came directly from Number 10 to strengthen families. I attended some of those meetings and it was very impressive that they were making the links between marriage, strong families, and the economy and mental health. So I took part in those. Um, we've been invited to a number of all party parliamentary group meetings that concern RSE or education in general or faith education, etc. cetera. Um, and I've spoken a number of times at some meetings that have been held in parliament representing the views of faith and family in education. In terms of influence, that has, has happened, I'm happy to say, but more specifically in the Department for Education. Because we have come as a, the voice of advocacy, not the voice of lobbying. So we're not banging on the table and saying, this has got to happen. We're coming in and saying, there are people in this country who, support the values of the Values Foundation. And therefore, we think you should be listening to this. And we were heavily involved in trying to help the Department of Education to understand that they were putting the schools in the pos impossible position to deliver RSE on time in September because of the lack of the opportunity to do parental consultation during COVID. You've kind of touched on maybe my next question there, which is what are one or two of your current hot topics? This time, almost to the day four years ago, I came across a snippet in the time, I read the Times daily, as you can see, um, that said relationships and sex education was going to be compulsory in all schools. I felt, oh, uh -huh, this is going to be problematic. And I've been working on it ever since. In terms of RSC being a tool to change the culture of Britain, marriage and the family is the focal point for a stable society. Everything in education is always built, any new policy, any new guidance is built on years, decades of research and analysis and data. Same-sex marriage was passed not 10 years ago, and same-sex parenting is a relatively new thing. And what we in the Values Foundation say, to teach children that this is a valid alternative is ill-advised at this stage. Come back two generations down the line, and then we'll continue teaching it to children. And we have evidence of the, even the consultation on RSE the percentage of people who objected to certain things but was taken no consideration of is quite frankly a scandal. But we want to avoid that by establishing ourselves so we are a primary voice rather than a secondary voice and that's work in progress. 
you might like to note or, or listeners might like to note that uh, there is a, an interesting book by Professor Walter Shum, S-C-H-U-M-M, Same Sex Parenting Research. And while there isn't a massive body of research out there, there certainly is some research out there, uh, some large scale research out there. And he covers that um, in, uh, in that book. In terms of advice for parents who might be thinking, well, uh, I don't know much about this. What do I need to know? How do I get to find out? What would you, what advice would you give to parents? Oh, I'm really pleased you asked that question. We, okay, I'm there, I'm dealing with it. I was involved in the legislation, I've been involved in the guidance. Um, but I'm perfectly aware that parents are concerned about their child's GCSEs or whether they're going to get into the school they want and what they're putting in the lunchbox. And, and I'm not being patronising here, I've been a mother mm. and I know these things are all encompassing. But I really want you to know that you really need to know about RSE. And schools have to consult you on RSE. It's now written, now it's been reinstated in the recent guidance. There are some ideologically driven resource providers who are determined to sexualize your child from the age of four, are determined to um, ensure that your child goes through a process of questioning his gender, even though we know that sex is scientific and it's fixed, and who are driven to equate um, heterosexual relationships and homosexual relationships. I think it's important to note that these are uh, recognized as politically sensitive issues and because they're politically sensitive issues they need to be dealt with with balance in schools. What's next for the Values Foundation? What's, uh, what's hot on your agenda to, to start tackling next? Our focus is education. So it's not about the rights and wrongs of different relationships and it's not about the rights and the wrongs of different people's affiliations. It's about whether it is appropriate to mandate that all children have to learn this. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for all the work you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it's been a real privilege to talk to you, Chief Exec of the Values Foundation, Judith Nemeth. Uh, all the best with your work as you go forward. Thank you very much. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to tell everybody what we're doing.